The global climate is changing, and Antigua and Barbuda is feeling the change. Things may not be all right unless we understand the changes and get ready. No matter who you are, you should be aware of what is happening. The Red Cross is working with Antiguans and Barbudans to learn and prepare. Temperature of the water changes, changes a lot now. No, I just noticed that nowadays the daytime is so hot and the night is get, it get real chilly. The climate change, sometimes here is a little cool and then it's hot, hot, hot. Extreme temperatures can threaten the health of our environment and our people. Your homes are going to get hotter, the summers will get hotter, it's predicted. Old people and young people are more susceptible to increased heat. People die from heat exhaustion and it's not something that you can easily spot and a Red Cross can assist with that. Global warming is already changing our rainfall. We have what we call the natural salt pan. Last year, for instance, we did not have no dry period. And I think that's why we don't have salt, because, you know, salt don't like water. The rain pattern is different. When I was growing up as a lad, we didn't have all that. So all that maybe come from the climate change and the different weather that we have. With the increased rainfall that we have been receiving due to climate change, several hotels along this way have had to close down about two times a year because they've been flooded out completely. Recent storms or heavy flooding um, cause the outbreak of um, diseases and that's a concern of ours. The water, the sea is rising and coming in closer. What I've noticed is that um, we have more rapid erosion of the beaches. Various owners have tried to protect their property by putting boulders. As you see, none of them are actually working very well. Because of global warming, many glaciers are melting throughout the planet. That water flows into the oceans, causing sea level rise. The seawater is getting into the water table. It may kill vegetation and impact on agriculture. Unfortunately, our biggest risk is also becoming more severe. June too soon, July stand by, August comes it must, September remember, October all over. And so that was the pattern we had. We are realizing now that our hurricane season has extended. We are now having hurricanes right down into um, November and early December. Warmer oceans will basically mean stronger hurricanes because there's just more of a heat source to give them the power that they need to become stronger. Are you prepared for what climate change may bring? When the next disaster strikes, you may have to be the first to respond. It's a situation that's happening around us. It's happening silently, slowly. It's not a big thing like a volcano erupting, but climate change is there, and we want to train people. Throughout the Caribbean, the Red Cross is helping communities prepare for the growing risk of disasters. With support from the European Commission Humanitarian Aid Office, and in collaboration with a variety of institutions, we are offering first aid training emergency relief items, and the formation of community disaster response teams. We have to learn as a community, as a society, to cope with disaster. And there is a subject known as climate change, and we have to deal with it as it's going to deal with us. Be prepared. Join your community disaster response team.